hi there in this video we are going to see how can we supply data to our request from the scripts okay so there are a couple of prerequisites so one is you should know how can we define and manipulate environment variables from within the scripts in postman so i've created a video on postman variables i'll be posting the link of that video in the description of this video the next prerequisite is the basic knowledge of JavaScript because we would be using concepts on if and arrays. Okay, so don't worry about it if you don't know the basic knowledge of Java, don't have the basic knowledge of JavaScript. In future, I'll be creating a crash course which is gonna cover the JavaScript essentials. And towards the end, what we'll see is you know when we have to send object from the script within the body what is the precaution that we have to take all right so in this video i'll be working first on a get request and in the get request we are supposed to provide the id so based on this id we'll see different results so i'll be passing on this id from my script and in the in the script what i've done is i've created an array which has got five values so each time I'll run this request, a value would be picked. So first time one would be picked, second time two would be picked, and accordingly we'll see different results. Okay, so essentially what I'm doing here, so I have created an array which has got five values, and with the help of this shift operation, yeah. I'm fetching the first value from this array and storing that in the local variable. Now I'm storing this local variable into my environment variable with the name current ID. And then I'm passing this current ID because now it is available in the environment. I can pass that within my URL. So here I'm passing that value and whatever remaining that is left after the shift operation because shift what it will do is it will take the first value out. Okay. So whatever is remaining. So after first operation, two, three, four and five will be remaining. So I'll be storing that in another environment variable. Okay. Then in the test, I have to take a decision whether I have to continue sending the request or not and that solely depends upon if there is any value left in the array I'm going to resend this request how can I resend the request I can send the same request again with the help of postman dot set next request and the argument that I have to pass is the name of the request this is the name of the request okay so in our uh, collection we have seen that you know the in the collection runner video we have seen that the default order of execution of your request is what you see in the collection runner okay so that's a de default behavior now you can change that dynamically with the help of postman dot set next request so let's say there are three requests request one two and three by default request first would be executed then second and then third all right what if you want to run the request third after request first so then you are going to make use of postman dot set next request method all right and you're going to pass in the name of the request which you want to run next as the name suggests okay so what i'm going to do here is i'm going to check whether that id environment variable exists and if it exists and has length greater than zero okay then i'm going to send the same request again however if the value is if if the array does not exist or it has no values remaining then what i'm going to do is i'm going to unset means delete those variables ids and current id which we have created in the pre-request script okay so this is what we are going to do so let's first do that and then we'll come on to the post part okay so let's open this and this is the request and here we are going to write the script so as a first step what do we have to do so let me go back to pre-request script and we say let ids equal to let's define those one two three four five okay and now how can i read the first value from this array so i say let current id is equal to ids dot shift okay now what you have to do next now you have to store that value in your environment variable how can you do so pm dot environment dot set you have to pass in two parameters 
the name which is going to be let me copy this only current id and the value is going to be current id okay now since this value is available into our environment <coughs> i can use it here it's already there uh, to start with it has to be something like a hard coded value now i can replace that with this particular syntax because i have this variable available now in my environment okay so now what about the remaining array so what i have to do is i have to create one more variable pm dot environment dot set and i say ids and whatever ids that are left okay so next step that we have to do is we have to go to the test section and here what we are going to do is we are going to retrieve those values and how can we do so pm dot environment dot get and then we are going to do ids okay and then we are going to check if ids exist and so you use two percent to and two conditions and if both the conditions are true then only anything we write inside the if block will get executed so what is my second condition ids dot length this is a property on array object it has to be greater than zero and if so then i'm going to do postman dot set next request to which one the same request and for that copy the name paste it here okay if the array is empty what do we have to do we have to unset these variables okay so how can we do so environment dot unset and then we provide the name so first one was ids pm dot environment dot unset and then we are going to say current id okay i hope that's the name let me check that once current id and ids yes that's correct we have to do one more thing see the thing is every time we send the request right this value would be reinitialized and we have already saved that into our environment variable all right so what we can essentially do is we can say let ids equal to pm dot environment dot get and retrieve the value from environment variables and if it turns out to be empty okay so we say if no such id is defined then we initialize the ids to this value okay now we don't need this i think we are all set let's save our request and go to our collection runner click on run request let's wait for this to open up we have to work on this request so i can deselect the other request i have to work on an environment right because i'm saving something into the environment so therefore i need an environment here if i click on this so you see my request has run five times and let's check the request url first time it's one second time it's two third time it's three and accordingly we can also check the response body uh it's not strange okay so uh request four and five so we have successfully executed our request multiple times right based on the value that we have provided in the array right so this one is done let me close this now let's move on to our slide so we have provided the data to our request from the script okay so now this is an important note so postman will store environment and global variables as string so if we are storing objects remember to json.stringify them before storing so what does json.stringify does 
so when you create an object in your script it's a javascript object right and environment and global variable can store strings so you have to convert that into string first okay so with the help of json.stringify you will convert your javascript object into string and then you'll store it when you have to work on that how can you retrieve and again uh, make it a javascript object by using json.parse okay now this is what we are going to do so i'll be using a post request this time and i'll be creating this object first inside my pre request this is a javascript object so i have to save that first into my environment variable and once it's in, in into the environment variable i can use that data into my request body okay so following this right we have to stringify it what i have done is before storing this object this is a javascript object so i'm stringifying it all right and in the body what i'm doing is in the body we could see that i'm using the syntax to read that data from the environment variable let's see that in action okay so this is my request okay so as you could see that in pre request pre request script all i have done is i created an object and i have set that into my environment right and in the body i'm simply referencing it okay so let me show you what is currently there into my database there are five records and what is the body that i'm sending i'm about to create a new animal rabbit all right and let me hit this all right so new record is created with id h2 let's see that into the database and yeah the record is created just to keep it clean i deleted that because i have been using this database in my example okay so th that was the trick okay thank you i hope you are enjoying these videos if so please subscribe to this channel thank you so much see you in the next video